a very low barrier to get into the Gronk Squad. That's crazy! We've committed to do the Daily Talk Show for 10 years. So, hi guys. Hi guys. Put it in the calendar. Put that one in. I'd just like to check the temperature in the room. I told you my squeegee story. It is outrageous. Come on, let's go. <laughs> It's a daily talk show episode 1013. Happy Friday, everybody. Is that your drink in the front? What's that? Did oh, I see you drinking that? No, that no, this is from yesterday. How sad. Would you sip a coffee if it was a, a day old on your desk? Yeah, I'm a milk. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. That is one of the things I've found myself saying. Like, mm-hmm. Bodie took in a smoothie to our room the other day. Yeah. It was hold- actually three in his arms holding him. And I was like, fuck, at this point- like even this morning, took a bowl of porridge, hot porridge, into his mum, uh-huh. and I'm just like, I don't want him to, uh-huh. but then you can't. Like he has to learn. Wait, so he wants to eat it. No, he wants to just take things to people. But the problem is that you know it's like a kid holding a glass and saying, yeah, "I want to drink yeah, from yeah, a glass." Yeah, yeah, there's a chance they'll break it. There's a chance they won't. Mm-hmm. You don't want to not give them the chance because if they break it, they learn. If they don't break it, all good. Mm-hmm. But creativity is not about breaking things. No, it's absolutely not. <laughs> the point is almond milk. <laughs> <laughs> when Bodie took in the smoothies, uh-huh. of course he fucking spilt a bunch of the smoothie because he had three in his hands and no one holds smoothies like that. Mm-hmm. And Amy said, oh, is that almond milk? I was like, yeah. She's like, oh, thank God, because it was on the carpet. Mm-hmm. But that is the thing. That is the one thing I'll give almond milk. Tastes like shit. It depends. If you get the- <laughs> If you get milk lab- Oh, yeah, whatever. It is, it is really good. It whatever. Really good. It doesn't taste like cow's milk. Mm-hmm. I, they're probably not in the same. You, you got to class. You got to compare almond to almond, mm-hmm. cow to cow. Actually, yeah. no. There's no comparison. Who's who's ever said I don't like that cow's milk? What do you mean? Like a certain brand? Yeah, I think there is. There's maybe, certain maybe. ones where it's like it's, it tastes a bit infected. Maybe, but, <laughs> but for a coffee, mm-hmm. it's yeah, more okay. how you've done it. So yeah. Mac, uh, 7-Eleven actually put in. Real milk, pour it in, but it's how it gets sucked up a small mm. tube that would change its texture or make it sort of feel different. Yeah. Because if you use that same milk and gave it to a barista to make you an epic coffee, you'd be you wouldn't complain about it. Yeah. But anyway, so I don't. Th- yeah, it's weird. Anyway, the str- strong coffees aren't just um, strong anymore. It, it's it's more complicated than that. Uh just like um, a few cafes that I've gone to lately. When I say strong. Oh, it's There's straight it is, away push, not pushback, but it's, oh, so we put X amount of shots and, and, yeah. and so do you want another shot? And they make you feel like a monster because they're like, well, we already used two. So if you want an extra, yeah. you're actually having three. Yeah. It's, and it's like a psychopath. Yeah, yeah. Three. But I did like the thing. The funny <laughs> thing is it's, it's not like um, I don't even reference shots in my head when I'm nah. thinking about it. Nah. So you could say, oh, no, we actually put five shots in. Are you sure you want another one? Yeah. And that would mean the same to me as mm. two shots. Yeah. So, a standard coffee has one shot. Is that what they're saying? Well, this is where we're not both coffee experts, but uh-huh. so I, I've seen some cafes would run one shot out mm-hmm. two spouts into two cups. Yeah. So, it's- But then it's a, the length of time they run the shot for. Mm-hmm. But if you just want it to f- taste strong, then- go with that Mm -hmm. but if you're selling coffee as strong that ends up not being strong that ends up you're selling coffee yeah that becomes a standard right standard so if you want beyond that yes so if i say strong they should whatever their standard is up it exactly my perspective like i shouldn't have to go through the the maths on it yeah it's are you sure Uh i've had that so many times are you sure Mm -hmm. i mean there are probably people that go five shots yeah anyway anyway um do you think you'll um uh, go off things like I mean over the years you've been the guy that um, you know subs- substains is that the word yeah, substains yeah. from uh, whether it be um, wanking at work <laughs> <laughs> you did that for a whole did you no, get through the week no, no. <laughs> I did a year of with no, no porn yes that was it um, different <laughs> wanking at work but yeah I have stopped um, no, I appreciate that um, <laughs> since I fixed our terms of service on our, on our computers um, no so you uh, no alcohol for a year yeah no um, uh, coffee for a month are you thinking about say post all of this doing some of those things as a mm. reset um, yeah I think but that, I think that's like the go to mm-hmm. after you've um, gone so hard yeah, 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 <laughs> it's yeah. like 
Christmas time, you ate so much food. You're mm-hmm. like, well, it's time to have a fucking detox. Yeah, yeah. Um, crazy. I'll have a crazy haircut. Yeah, the, there's some things. Uh, yeah, I mean, no, I've done them all. I'm good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, but I think it depends on where you're at. Right mm-hmm. now, the alcohol is probably one that are just mm-hmm. like when the baby comes, all that shit. Just like remove that because it actually just then removes a bunch of. Well, I can't mean, out I'm, late or exactly all, the, all that sort of thing. I can't anyway, mm-hmm. so I may as well just like say, "Well, I'm not it's doing a, that." It's a good rule in because if you are drinking, then you have more options, so yeah. then more things can happen. Yeah. So, whereas if you just take it off the table, that's actually yeah, one less thing to think about. That is probably one of them. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe as much coffee. Yeah, not needing to go out and drink as many out. Mm-hmm. I actually wouldn't mind to. Um, I just love. Maybe I'm. Nah, this is my new one. Limit coffee out after the show, once we finish the show, mm-hmm. to once a day if I'm going. Mm-hmm. But then, because I have an espresso machine now mm-hmm. and it's not that oh, bad. That's right. yeah, it's yeah. got a little wi- uh, milk whipper. Yeah. So, so I did one this morning. Uh, one shot. I usually do two, but I didn't want to, you know, blow out. Just wanted a little, a little guy. So, I did one shot. There's a lot of noise out of that machine. Mm-hmm. What are they getting up to inside? It's Heating like the water quickly or something. Yeah. It's a, it's <clears throat> a lot goes on yeah. for a little fella. And so, and then you put the milk in, press a button, whips the milk, everything's done. Mm. And, uh, and it is about 30 cents or 40 cents yeah, instead of 450. Yeah. Um, so that could be one. What about that's like, um, one. working at cafes? Cause that's obviously so- like, Something that when you're freelancing that people do, is that something that you would mm. be interested in? Yeah, I love that. I love doing that. Um, I think you did that more than what I did when we were both did our own things, maybe. Mm-hmm. Just because like it's the, you're very good at the making friends with the the owners or yeah, yeah, like yeah. just yeah. sort of creating a spot like that becomes well, your space. Well, yeah. Cause if you're drinking one coffee a day and you're working there all day, you're going to have rapport <laughs> with the <laughs> owners. Yeah. Otherwise they fucking hate yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. Hate mate, you. Do you want to, do you want me to take the bins out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mate, mate. mate re- uh, replace the rolls. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I fucking, I destroyed it. I used the toilet brush. Too. <laughs> yeah. so hey, mate, always- here's my meetings list. Here's yeah. how many meetings I'm having in your establishment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a, um, there's, a, there's a, an iPad at the door when people walk into <laughs> Tommy and then they you know. It is a real problem. Yeah. If you're speaking to the receptionist, do you mean the barista? <laughs> <laughs> it can be a real problem. People just mm-hmm. work. But that's- You want that. I think you want it as like- Especially if your cafe isn't the busiest on the block. You know, if, it, if it's not bloody- What was that one on- um. Like just any cafe you think of that actually is just heaving yeah. all the time. They don't need people working out of there yeah. all day. Well, the problem I think is that the the businesses that probably need that yeah. also don't need that because it's taking up space. Like, So, think about in the US, the Starbucks co- culture. Dude. We never felt bad about- Like there's no anxiety in yeah. going to Starbucks, having your laptop, plugging in power, using yeah. their internet. It's like part of- the whole experience. Yeah. Yeah. Shitty on the ball and the seat. Yes. It's just, yeah. I mean, how filthy are some of the toilets in Starbucks? Mm-hmm. The one in West Hollywood on um, Santa Monica Boulevard, the one we, we sat in mm-hmm. and just the kooks that are in there because mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. they don't care. Yeah. They're just like people come in and get an 80 cent coffee mm-hmm. and some like there's homeless people in there yeah. just sitting. There's, like people there was a few in, yeah. sort of people who were very sort of not well. Mm-hmm. Imagine- I mean, they, they probably closed or at least were open for takeaway during, during like all pandemic. the pandemic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All the toilets closed. Mm-hmm. Man, what a time. What a fucking time to be alive, dude. Um, so, we've been getting emails. We thought today we would go through Gronk M's yeah. email. This she, is, um, she formatted it beautifully. M, thank you. You yeah, formatted yeah, it beautifully. Yeah. The questions are easy to read. Yeah, yeah but to be fair, it- um, it came through this morning and we're doing the show today. So, uh-huh. it's not about who did the best email. It's, <laughs> it's just- Could be just about- Convenience. Timing of the show. It's uh-huh. currently 9.40 a.m. And this was the last email we got. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's so we will get to everyone We will get to one. everyone. Uh-huh. Um, M said, uh, love you guys was the subject. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sad. I'm so sad. Yesterday's ep was the reason I love the show. 
the chats, the hard conversations, but I'm sure they'll, uh, I'm sure they're exhausting as well. What are you talking about? <laughs> you weren't sick yesterday. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm <laughs> fucking fine. <laughs> Pretty don't sure tell me how yesterday's app gave yeah. you a cold. Yeah, yeah. And M, don't tell me how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, that's I, your story. I'm sad for me, but not sad for you guys. What mm. does that mean? <laughs> joking. You've got to do what's best for both of you and your families, but I'm hoping there's a comeback. Sometimes you need to miss something to realize you want to do it again. Um, is that for her that, uh, for, as in listen again or for us to do it again? I think that there's, I get the tone <laughs> when anyone mentions comeback. It's sort of, I think people think it's within my personality to like, backflip or something and be like, you know yeah, what? Yeah, we are yeah. doing seven shows a day, one, <laughs> one an hour, like the daily talk show's done, but now it's the hour show on the hour, every yeah. hour. Yeah. We're the ticker yeah, of yeah, um, exactly. podcasting. Yeah, that's yeah. actually just no news. Covered. 17 hours <laughs> yeah. of non news content. <laughs> Fucking that would be a lot. Um, she said questions, mm -hmm. which is nice. This is where the formatting comes in. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then she's listed a bunch. I'll just read the back end and then we can come back to the questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Love you guys. I'm sad it's ending. I'm like, uh, I'm like a crack addict waiting for each app to download each day. The couple of days off uh, were like going into withdrawal. Maybe you, maybe you need to slowly fade them out instead of cold turkey. Ha ha ha. Love you guys. And really hope we can meet in person one day. We'll support you through whatever happens next. Don't block me on Insta. <laughs> that's what has she done on Insta? That's definitely me. Yeah. Yeah. That's her thinking. That's to you. That I don't think that was yeah. to me. <laughs> love from M from the Gold Coast. Thank you, M. We love you. Sent from iPhone. Um, um, okay. Questions. Qu questions. Mm -hmm. Number one. What did Josh get Brie for her birthday? So okay. that was yesterday. No, two days uh, ago. 12th of May. <coughs> yeah. So two days ago. I think the reason this probably came up too was because I mentioned the golf clubs. What was that? What I happened? mentioned, I think I mentioned on the show that I was going to get Brie golf clubs and Brie said- if you think uh, about getting golf clubs, don't. Did I mention that on the show? Um, I can't remember that. Was there a time where was that did GB you? fill in for you? Maybe once, one day. Maybe, maybe I mentioned it on that. But it day. sounds something like yeah, you yeah. Do. So I was yeah, I was walking along and I said I said to Bree, this is like a week and a half ago. I said I know what I'm getting you for your birthday, <laughs> and she said if it's golf clubs, don't. I'm like. You ruin everything. <laughs> um, no, so, so I, it wasn't golf clubs. No, it wasn't golf clubs. It wasn't it was golf, golf lessons. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't golf lessons. It was a um, Robert Gordon's, which is like the um, pottery place. Like they do um, ceramic -y sort of things. Right, like we have right. all the like the the hipster cafes. If you turn, turn them upside down, it's Robert Gordon. Um, we're doing a, I think it's called a wheel throw like session for two hours, where great, like great, you, great. like basically. You know, you make your own form um, something. What is that called? Ceramics. Is it ceramics? A ceramics pottery is sort of pottery. Thing? Yeah, yeah, that's the type of thing. Using the spinner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was keen on like the throw wheel thing. Same, uh, TJ's just using the spinner. Um, spinner the, that George is running with. Fidget, fidget spinner. spinner. Fidget spinner. Thanks, Kaz. Um, it, it's still, even though she said that it had sort of rusted from mm. the sea. It I got it working tree. again. It was just out of alignment. Uh-huh. Um, there we go. So, um, so there's great that pottery class. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that'll be fun. Couldn't get in till July, but um, made Brie a card. Great. Um, used, um, we had some nice textures at the office. Yeah. Some metallic sort of Sharpie right. ones. Right. That, that looks great. Just sort of classic A4 page folded in half right on one thing. Classic. Yeah. More appreciative yeah. of something like that than a uh -huh. Bought card. Well, bought yeah, one. when I said I made a card, like Brie, a one. well, yeah, Brie was thinking that it was going to um, have cut out stuff, <laughs> but there was no cut, it was just textures. But anyway, I mean, um, I have done that before, mm -hmm. but early days of a relationship, <laughs> yeah. framey. Well, I think like it's, um, it's so funny because it shows the different standards of um, when you're in a relationship for a long time, what's seen as sweet. Yeah. So when I was doing the card, Jess was watching me and she said, I would be ropeable if I got that. Really? Like, yeah. And then when I gave it to Bree, she's like, oh, this is so nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, it must be really pathetic. Like, <laughs> you know, just like minimum, minimum why, viable. I mean, Jess- um, She likes it. Like, what does she want? A fucking yeah, Gucci like, bag. Yeah. She likes nice things, I guess. 
Yeah. But like, I think it is not like the thing with cards is cards are, a, it's a bit of a scam. Seriously. Think about the cost of cards. I bought two on the weekend. I think it, you're actually- How much do you think I paid for one? Three dollars. Uh, nah. Six. Nah. One. Nah. Eight. Pretty much. I think that the- I could definitely post, you know, all of this stuff. I could be the guy that has a little uh, wooden tray in a drawer that has some nice playing cards and four different stamps mm. and a pen, There's calligraphy. A and I sort of like- What do the stamps do? The stamps is like, happy birthday. Yeah. Stamp. <laughs> okay. Or yeah, yeah. Um, sorry about your loss. Stamp. Yeah. Yeah. I did think of a um, invention for offices- you know, when you work in an office and there's like cards going around, yeah. you got to sign them. Yeah. Just the fucking, some <laughs> like best wishes, yeah. TJ, and just, just so you, it's just outsourced. Do, that is very, that is And funny, even if you're not there, yeah, yeah, yeah. give everyone Someone permission to it. be able to, oh, well, we Use don't best know. wishes. Best, yeah. I'm sure it's, um, I'm sure it's been done before. Uh-huh. It's anyway. It is a funny idea. Anyway, so. Um, Next question. What will happen to the podcast studio? Mm-hmm. Um. So we have a lease mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, equipment will go. Mm-hmm. It's all going to go to another home. Yeah. And, and so uh, your dad, um, with the help of a chippy, put mm-hmm. it together with you. Yeah. These walls. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. They've, um, it's amazing the building has actually held the weight of all this wood, to be honest. Really? You think? Anyway, so he's going to come <laughs> and he's going to cut it all up. Yeah. We're going to cut it up. use it as- Firewood? Yeah, it's great. It's hardwood. A lot of it's mm-hmm. hardwood. Um, mm-hmm. And, and hardwood is good for um, fires. Burns well. Yeah. You know, I mean, pine does too, but hardwood seems to mm-hmm. have a bit length, a bit more length to the burn. Yeah. But it's all good. It's kindling. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. Who wants a piece? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, we were, there was a, a moment where it's like, oh, we could cut up all the wood into squares and then well, frogs squares, could yeah, yeah, buy yeah. their piece of the studio. If you want one and you have a- we, we manage that though. A saw. Okay. Who can come around with a saw? <laughs> that would yeah, be, be Yeah. That's a- <laughs> That would be quite funny. Um, but then um, you have to have your own insurance because we mm-hmm. won't cover your yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, no, no. So, yeah, you're going to pull the wall down. Mm-hmm. What's happening in the podcast studio? Uh, yeah, it's going. Mm-hmm. It's going. Well, if you don't have a podcast, you don't need it. It's very true. If, you've, if you have a podcast studio and you don't use it, you probably should use it for something, make yeah. it a different room. And the other thing too is um, there's always a cost to shutting something down. Yeah. But if in the grand scheme, when you are talking, like, because we were talking such a long period of time, these are just the costs, right? Like this is, like, it's it's never completely clean. It's like, you know, having to pay more lease than what we'd like to, those types of things, but mm. um, which probably leads to the next Question. What was the next question? Was um, it about BMC? No. Will our daily talk show merch become expensive memorabilia? Uh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> you probably could get it at um, uh, Vinny's near you. Well, I, there was. Um, I told you. I've t- I think I've told you before. The the strip troupe that I was a part of, not yeah. my business. The other one, the Sydney Hot Shots. There, there was a. Uh, I was in an op shop once mm-hmm. and I saw the oh, merchandise right. that was sold at the, st- we were selling those. That's how mm-hmm. I made a bit more money after the show yeah. was selling merch, mm-hmm. t-shirts. And so a bit sad <laughs> seeing, yeah, yeah. you know, some girls bought it thinking, you know, thinking, this is- thinking, <laughs> thinking with her vagina, just, yeah. you know, <laughs> just I'll buy that. Fucking uh-huh. These boys get to go sit on their laps and have a photo and buy a bit of merch. And then straight away to <laughs> And then you the get salvos. home, you're, you're pissed, yeah. wake up, you're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Why do I want that? Yeah. That reminds me of the debauchery that was that night. Uh-huh. And anyway, so that was a bit sad seeing that. But keep it. Keep it. Who knows? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's a thing with merchandise. Think about basketball cards. I mean, we're not bar- <laughs> We're not you think we're going to go to the moon when we finish? No, nah, but think about all the things. Yeah. Think about all the things you could have kept that would be worth something now. Yeah. In the time, it d- doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. Keeping Pokemon, a, a whole pack of Pokemon cards doesn't really make any sense for 20 years. And the funny thing is that as people who created all of the stuff, I don't think most people that are creating it are good at like, so we're good with like files and stuff, but like keeping one fresh hoodie and one crew neck and one t-shirt like i haven't done that yeah like isn't that fun like it 
you would think that that would be a thing, mm. but it doesn't. I think. Well, people move houses. Yeah. People don't have enough space. Mm-hmm. Like who's got who? I mean, maybe there is somebody that likes to keep a, a pair of something, mm. but that's how you win. That's if you're willing to go through the annoyance of storing something. But most of it won't. Mm-hmm. Most of, most of it won't be a Pokemon pack that's worth two hundred and fifty k yeah. now. But there's there's things that just hold sentimental value. Yeah, so it's it's no okay. value to anyone else. Yeah. But Do you have any individual- like what I think? So Jess put on your um. G uh, string. <laughs> that was your old stripping G string. It was, was in the over office. her jeans. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what kind of a, like was a business it operation? Is, yeah. yeah. What are we running? Um, and so back streets of yeah. Abbotsford. <laughs> and so um, she put that on as a joke and came upstairs to show you boys. It was very funny um, because I had this thing downstairs. But I mean, I've got a lot of shit downstairs, and mm. I'm just like, fuck. Sentiment, sentiment can change. <laughs> yeah. About the product or the thing a year between. Well, if you're thinking about the what your perspective is on stories, all the things are just uh, symbols of stories, aren't they? Yeah, And so it's for like sure. if sure. you don't value those, then it's like, well, what's the, mm. you know, minimalist take a photo, chuck it. Like, so they've got a photo yeah. of the thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, it actually, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's... It's like art, all that, th- all that stuff. What, what your G string no, is? Yeah, yeah, could be, <laughs> yeah. could be. Had you see um, uh, Scott Mags, who has just sold his beard for over a million dollars? He just raised over a million bucks, yeah. and he'd grown this huge beard. Yeah. How spewing would you be if we finished up and I sold my neck beard? <laughs> 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 just went to the moon. Just, just someone's just got a <laughs> hanging so in the, some modern art. Just a dirt, it's called, you know, the dirty neck beard. Yeah, yeah. No, this uh, Scott sold the beard. Well, mm-hmm. he just got donations and it was all for melanoma. Mm-hmm. It's awesome. I've been in the presence of that beard. A few parties. Yeah. It was fucking Was it 10 great. years, the beard or something? Dude. It's a long time. When did I live in Bondi? When I was in Bondi, we were at a party together and it was big. Mm-hmm. Just, I didn't know what that guy looked like other mm-hmm. than the beard. And yeah. he actually took the beard off. He looks great. He looks awesome. Yeah, He's yeah. a great looking fella, but he just yeah. looks like a completely different dude. Because mm-hmm. yeah. you can't see. If you're covered, just show your beauty, yeah. Josh. I just Shave love your neck beard, yeah. dude. I just <laughs> love seeing the beard coming off. It's like- it's like an artifact. Like yeah, they, like so they cut. sprayed this long... They sp- it's like a Ned Kelly beard. Picture yeah. that. They've sprayed it with something that's held it together. It's like a glue. Yeah, and then... It? Nah, I think it's m- more serious okay, than that. Yeah. But yeah, maybe it's... I mean, it's going on your face. Oh, you know, it has to be... Yeah, I know It has to be mean. a yeah, glue. Yeah. Like it has to be really... Like it needs to connect everything up. Yeah, because they took it... They shaved underneath it and yeah. it actually stayed together. Yeah, and yeah. so they've got this huge piece of a beard... Which is phenomenal, mm-hmm. and it's going to go in like a um, a glass. Oh, that's fun! Like I, th- I think so. Think about memorabilia, people buying shit, rich people buying shit. They're literally doing. It could be a tax write off. It could be just I actually just care about where the money's going. I don't give mm-hmm. a fuck about yeah. Shane Warne's cricket bat yeah. that he actually didn't play with, but he signed. Mm-hmm. Like, would he be more s- sort of? He'd sign a ball before a cricket bat. Do you think? It, Not it, to be the sportsman, of yeah, the group. but you'd, prob- you'd probably get a ball and a ball and a bat combo. Okay, R- little rebel sport job. <laughs> ball you and think? a bat combo in a um, glass frame. Uh-huh. Never know, never know. But yeah, you're right. He'd be mm-hmm. the ball guy. Yeah. He's a spinking. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it'd be more li- more the likely he gives you a fidget, fidget spinner, spinner than a bat. <laughs> he, he could have done the Warnies Warnies spinner. Warnies spinner. That's a great idea. Fuck. Um, next question. Is BMC is BMC still continuing? And then she said, "This is why we love him." Okay, mm-hmm. this is just okay. This is personal. Mm-hmm. Don't need to answer this, mm-hmm. and we shouldn't expect you to. Don't block me. But it is in my mind. <laughs> yeah. So I think that the Daily Talk Show. When we started the Daily Talk Show, BMC was a thing that came out of that. Yeah, and it was connected to the partnership and. And um, the daily talk show, I think, than BMC, it's really interesting to see people's perspectives on it. But I think for you and I, the daily talk show and BMC were one. Well, it closely linked. I yeah. don't, think about right now, if you 
do your own thing, your own business, and you have a friend and you wanted to then do a daily talk show. Mm -hmm. So, at some point, it could have been 13, 12 episodes a a week or seven episodes or five. Think about that time investment. Mm -hmm. Hard to be out doing something else and then connect schedules based on- Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, having two, uh, having that amount of stuff and then uh, like doing that much together and then having completely separate separate yeah. schedules yeah. is yeah. hard. And we did it for like a year yeah. um, before doing the BMC stuff. Yeah. But, um, there's but then a- we brought it together, which yeah. the point is, uh, which maybe some people have thought, but they also mm-hmm. want to know when there's no daily talk show, maybe there's no business. Mm-hmm. Or maybe some people just think that there's the show. Mm-hmm. There's actually not. How the fuck do those mm-hmm. guys do it? Don't care. Like what they say. Yeah. Enjoy the content. Mm-hmm. And so the plan is closing BMC down. Yeah. But it's obviously BMC is just a brand. BMC is just the thing that uh, you and I used as a vehicle to work together. Yeah. But so, yeah, there's like from a business side of things, there's like the transitional period. It's not as clean as like, July 1, everything's done. There's all the like loose ends and things like that. And I think that what uh, TJ and I, like what we've, uh, we're keen on is making this like clean. Like if it's going to take, it's not this thing where it's like we're shutting it down and then we're like, you know. I think that happens if there's something terrible that's happened. Spectacular. Some blow up where mm-hmm. you, you've punched me in the dick. And, yeah, you know, I think you would stay <clears> on if I even if I punch you. You'd be you, like, you wouldn't get far. <laughs> you wouldn't get far because I've fucking punched your dick out. Yes, yeah. um, but no, so that's that's yeah. It takes mm-hmm. time. It takes yeah, months and to mm-hmm. to change that. But that's yeah. So I think um, the team finishes. The bi- the business finished. Mate, it all fucking finishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah it's just um the- I think that what we had in our mind initially was sort of, okay, um, uh, Amy's giving birth at the end of June? June? May, June. Yes. Yeah, June. Yeah. And so, the 25. idea being it's- and also like the fin year and all that sort of thing doing July 1. But the thing that we wanted to make sure as well is with the business, there's all of it, you know, there's all of the different expenses, obviously- um, you know, uh, Jess and GB are finishing where get it like, so there's all payouts for everyone where it's like, okay, here's all the annual leave. Here's all this. So there's a bunch of those costs. And so for us, when we did the maths, it's like, okay, we mm. actually need mm. to do another month and a half or two months to mm. make sure ATO and all that sort of things covered. So it's just like a clean exit. Mm. Um, things so, take time. Yeah. It, things are, Intricate, yeah. But I think the the learning the learning for me is around like a de- it's that thing of uh, making a decision that's going to impact you long term and putting it all in perspective. So I think that people would get antsy if like oh like the idea of paying out a lease or doing all that sort of thing. Like it seems like this big thing, but if you put it in perspective of like okay, what is this amount mm. in versus the investment that we, you were going to make for the next seven years or whatever it is. Mm. Um, and so I think that, I think, uh, I think that it's easy to fall into n- seeing the short term pain of something and not doing it based on that. Mm. Um, or even like sunk cost stuff as well. So being like, okay, well, we've got the lease. Uh, we've got it for another few months. Do we sort of mm. keep the studio going and do a podcast, like a, a rent out the space or things like that? And it's like, because we're selling all the business assets, it's like, we don't want to be, you don't want to be holding on to assets mm. until mm. the last second. Mm. Um, but when's the right time to do any of this? It's yeah. like, you can build a case for it being better or worse if you hold on for longer. Mm-hmm. But then there's also, what about now? Mm-hmm. What about now? Yeah, and then if that makes sense, then go for it. But you yeah. can always, yeah, it's a fact. You can always find a reason why it's not better now, mm-hmm. well, even then when you've decided on it now. Mm-hmm. But and so you, that, like, you see people, you see the amount of attention. Fuck, it'd be great if this was all a hoax, wouldn't it? <laughs> 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 a lot of attention, yeah, yeah. a lot of annoyed people, I reckon. Yeah. I mean, BK, BK someone say? who's listened for a long time, he was part of the squeegee carrying cult. Yeah. Um, oh, BK, yeah, sorry, BK, yeah, yeah. He, um, from RBK. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, BK, uh, from Simply Green. That was a real he- he- head fuck moment for me. I was thinking BMAC. When you said BK, I thought BK. BMAC. No, it's not BMAC. BK, BK said, 
ah, oh, that's not, this isn't real or something mm-hmm. like that. It was mm-hmm. just a, he's the guy to think that we yeah. are pulling his leg because he sucks on us. He was also um, the walkie talkie. He got involved with the walkie talkie yeah. episode yeah, exactly, as well. Exactly. Exactly. And so um, he didn't believe it. Mm-hmm. And so that, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. But um, the, the point is, I think, think about all the lovely things people have said mm-hmm. and, it, it can give you validation as to why you should keep going. And mm-hmm. people actually saying, don't stop. I just mm-hmm. started listening. Oh, well, fucking thanks for your, thanks for your message. We're going to keep going. <laughs> but, mate, but it's not that that message yeah, yeah. isn't nice. It's uh-huh. so lovely. Yeah, it's the but nicest. <clears throat> external stimulus yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. D- dictating what you do in your life can be a real problem. Mm-hmm. Because if you're not listening to what's happening in your actual existence, then that, then- then yeah, the, what else have you got? You've got uh-huh. other people, but then that's other people. Yeah, and so yeah. Um, uh, I was, was going to say something else on on that. Oh yeah, if you are in the media space or whatever, and you're looking for equipment, email us hi at the daily talk show dot com. Fuck, we've got it. Best in the business. We've got um, a spreadsheet of all the different elements. Yeah, we've got some sick stuff. Before These you, micro before arms. You fucking ask. George isn't on there. He's not. Yeah, on the no, you can't no, have him. No. no. It's not available. And uh, the, I'm sure the um, the guys might have news. They might not have news. But I think that like um, not talking about GB and Jess and their journey isn't out of um, being sus fucks or anything like that. It's just me. I think you already realize this stuff, but I, it takes more time for me to think about it. It's like it's not our story to mm. tell. And so um, I'm, I'm pumped for them both. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, can Gronks send in their favourite TDTS phrases? E.g., mine are, feels like midnight, mm-hmm. tastes like asthma, and that's outrageous. Mm-hmm. Of course he can. <laughs> send it yeah. in. Send it in. I would love a tastes like asthma T-shirt. No, I'm um, no joke. With a Ventolin puffer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tastes like asthma and a, and a blue lollipop or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, And And it's a scratch and sniff. Yeah. <laughs> that smells like asthma. Oh, that's Ta- a great idea. Tastes, yeah. actually, tastes like asthma. The raspberries taste like raspberries and the and then, asthma <laughs> tastes like asthma. And then you can, it's a scratch and sniff in small writing. Scratch and it smells like, uh, scratch here to smell asthma. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> asthma attack right here. Yeah. Do you reckon there's a business that does that? Scratch and sniff teas? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. I guess the asthma thing, it's just like whatever you want it to be, like it just has to be a strong scent. Um, you could actually scratch, get that. Scratchy. Smells like asthma. That's a different one. Tastes like asthma. Tastes like asthma. Tastes like asthma is a, is good. Yeah, yeah. If you I can, do say so myself. And what else can, is you, it? Mate, you can only say it if you're asthmatic, all right? <laughs> Which I, I'm sort of. You think you are. Well, no, I wasn't asthmatic. We've been through this. Actually, no, you're right because you don't. <sighs> Asthma is with you your whole life. That's what you've said. It's like herpes. Because I had- You can grow- People say you grow out of it. Yeah. Let me just double check Because I, um, I was on the purple preventative stuff, which would- um, You'd have to be careful that you didn't get a mouth thrush. Remember that? There's no cure for asthma. However, Josh it's Jackson a highly treatable disease. In fact, some doctors say today's asthma treatments are so effective, many people have near complete control of their mm. symptoms. Which is great. Yeah. I mean, as a kid, yeah, I wonder if like, so I even had the- um, Natural remedies, garlic, <laughs> yoga, <everything>. and more. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's the, um, that's your new podcast. Dialogue, garlic, um, yogi, and more. Um, I'll tell you what though, meditation, and yoga, in, in, in ref- reference to breathing, uh-huh. um, I think I've said on this show before, mum's friend had, um, mum's teacher- Margaret Zagesman started a beautiful yoga school here in Melbourne and grew it to a thousand students more, wow. um, migrated here. And she had half of one lung. Mm. That's it. I'm pretty sure. Half, half of lung. one lung. Half a lung. Half a lung. But it needs, it's like half of one because you got two. And half so you might just you think, think you'd like you half could, a lung, you could think, yeah, oh, yeah. you just like got one side. No, you yeah, got a whole other one. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she had half a lung. She had a quarter lung. Mum said it like that, but I, yeah. She, she did? A quarter, quarter of a lung. lung, yeah. Dude. That is, and, and she could just with breathing exercises was fine. She, yeah, she would have died otherwise. Like, think about the panic. Asthma, a part of mm-hmm. asthma is like, sometimes you can have an attachment to your puffer because you think 
Like it, there is definitely placebo. Even mm-hmm. if it's around, you feel better. Yeah. Because you're like, if something happens, uh-huh. I can grab that. And you feel tired. Think about, yeah, when you, when you sort of start thinking too much about your breath yeah. versus just experiencing the- the in and out of the breath, and so like imagine having. I would f- mm. makes me feel tight yeah, yeah. thinking about half of a lung. I remember I um, getting a, some sort of asthma medication. It's like a steroid, <laughs> and yeah. I um just as a kid, I remember taking it and then just looking in the mirror and flexing. <laughs> <laughs> thinking that was fucking that getting. Was, that was the, the, <laughs> the joke about um. Bodie had croup the other week and uh-huh. had had an injection of. Uh-huh. Steroids. He's no, sorry, sorry. He drank some steroids, and I was he's like, "Throwing Man. the ball so far." It's like, dude, that fucking kid's buff. <laughs> uh, any other questions? No, that was him? it. That was it. She did finish <clears throat> off with the lovely message yep. that I read earlier. Um, but yeah, we love you, M, and uh, hope to meet you one day as well. Mm-hmm. That'd be nice. Uh, I think that I think that that's we've answered it well. I think that the um, if you got other questions, send them through. Yeah, Hi at the Daily Talk Show dot com. Yes. Uh, last email to come through before an episode usually mm. gets read. Yeah. But was, we will get to them all when we read them all. I was uh, speaking uh, to someone who was saying, oh, like, um, uh, as a listener, potentially the experience is like, there's other, like when we're talking on stuff that's not clear or things like that, that we're like holding information back. Oh, yeah. Who is this fucking person? I <laughs> but I don't think- no, you're holding back, mate. Who the fuck is it? I don't think it's- You're holding it back, dude. I don't think it's the case. <laughs> don't you? Like, but no, I think it's just a, a, a sensitivity that I thought was interesting. It's yeah. like we fumble over our words. Maybe there's a little bit of just being- um, We haven't gotten that deep into a bunch of conversations around the yeah, nuances yeah, 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 yeah. of- how like they're this all, date it, is we're gonna we're gonna finish or that type of you're, thing. You're there always has to be more, but that's mm-hmm. where your mind goes. So in a breakup, yeah. So if someone came to you and said, "I mean, I've been broken up with before, uh-huh. and I don't get all the answers yeah. because, because it's everything. All the ants, all the questions are in my head, mm-hmm. and they're communicating a version. And sh- and so, yeah. Do you think it's fair to say that? The podcast, the last few episodes have been reflective of outside of the podcast for us. Um, yeah, because I think there, there's a difference between being in the middle of something mm-hmm. and then reflecting on something. Mm-hmm. So, the pain that I've felt in this business at times probably hasn't been reflected because I'm not, I'm not saying, hey, here's what. Because I was going through it. Mm-hmm. So, you could point to like immense pain, but then there's not much else to say about that. Would you do a YouTube video in like three months time versus oh, dude, you? it's fucking processing. <laughs> it's just upstairs. No, no, no. No, but that's it's, what yeah, everyone it's, hopes it's for. You know, the best thing is um, people leave like Logan Paul's operation, his mm-hmm. Maverick squad, and legit they do videos because they know people think that uh, here's why I left the mm-hmm. Maverick house. Mm-hmm. But then this one I watched, which I think is the only one I've watched, is really positive. Yeah. But he's, that's why he's like, yeah, I know you guys want that, but here's <laughs> what happened. Here's the, like, mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, that's also a reality that things end and they're not as salacious or fucking, you know, crazy as what you might think. But mm-hmm. it's much more entertaining to think that that's what's happened. It's much more entertaining to hear about the, the, the business that blew up the, mm-hmm. the one that sort of just like decided yeah, yeah. at a good time. <laughs> and I think that that's like, it, that's the, I don't know. I think that that's like a really interesting part of the story that could get missed. Yeah. Is that this, like it feels nice at being a choice that we're making to finish up and doing it. Like, and so I don't feel like it's not like, say for instance, if we went for six more months or a year and you're just like, you know, it was, it didn't go as well as what we'd hoped. And then it was in a position where it's like, mm. no, you like you've, you're in a lot of financial strife. You haven't, you know, the problem is way bigger. Mm. And so there is, there is something nice about finishing it off. But the thing is, I think it is really unique. Um, if you were trying to, I wonder how many partnerships can, because we have we we have an ability to connect up and say okay like agree on like we actually even though we're very different we end up always working out mm. 
uh, like an answer. Like we end up working out something. There's being nothing really that we we can disagree, but then we work out like who cares more about this or what's the like based on the whole situation, what's the best mm. outcome. Uh, and so I can imagine that being very hard for a lot of business partners. Whereas if you're in, I think that that's the interesting sort of contradiction with us is uh, being so different, arguing about stuff, but at the end of the day, coming together and saying, okay, we can do mm -mm. it. But you see how then people, about then why don't you keep going? That's it. But isn't that like, so that's the, the there is a skeptical person where it's like, mm. Um, There's a lot when, of the, so this, the it's, it's not even negativity in the skepticism. It is actually a valid thought f that they that they mm. just truly feel like, well, that doesn't make sense to me. But that that, yeah. that doesn't you're not the experience doesn't sit with you, uh -huh. not you, uh -huh. personless, yeah. the person that is that skeptic. The experience is with us, and I think that potentially I'm trying to think who it was. It was some celebrity, Seth Rogen's. Um, Autobiography comes out today, which is exciting. I'm get no the audio interest, book, really. Seth Rogen. Yes, you actually have interest in Seth Rogen's biography. Yeah. What for? Um, what movies have just, you seen of well, Seth? No, just the um, like because he started off in the um, what is it like at Revenge of the Geeks, maybe or whatever. He had a bunch to do with Judd Apatow, and so it's like that comedy thing. I mean, no, no diss to Seth uh -huh. Rogen. Uh -huh. <laughs> it just it seems weird. Uh -huh. That you're into and you're excited about. I'm not interested like in because he's, he's a real um, weed shill now, like because he's got his own brand and that type weed of thing. Brand, a weed brand. Yeah. It's all like premium, but it's all, I'm so over. Weed stuff to me feels <laughs> worse than where crypto can be or where uh, startup culture can be. Like everyone thinks that if you're in a weed business, it's going to go to the go to the moon. I mean, look at Dan um, Bilzerian. Yeah, it went under. Fucking uh -huh. uh, infinite, uh, infinite, finite business. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what it was called. No, no. Um, what was um, it called? Had an I and an F. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Inf inf anyway, that was, it, it seems like there's, <laughs> the best thing about Dan Bilzerian is that there's all these geeks that have made so much money from videos talking about how yeah, much yeah. money he's lost yeah. and fucking spent. Uh -huh. And I love those videos. Well, They're so good because they're smart accountants that are that have got the public uh, the public um, information mm -hmm. because it was a public company. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just yeah. like see it all. here's just what he was here's spending. Here's what he was yeah, making. Yeah. Like I'm going to do a video so going good, into dude. our zero. Account. Jason Fox. <laughs> oh, sorry, Jason um, <laughs> Robinson. Jason Robinson is doing a uh, from RBK. He's actually going to <laughs> <laughs> no, from, from PGA. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's doing a tell all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would be fun interviewing our accountant. Yeah, we'll get. Should we get him on before we finish? Oh, the, yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's pretty fucking busy. He's got a lot. It's, it's been a fucking. It's because he's fucking great. And if you need an accountant, yeah. Yeah, future yeah. advisory, mm -hmm. one of the best. I wouldn't go anywhere yeah. else. I've I've had if so I was many closing down a business again. I would go to no, but just anything like I just the choose ability. anyone else to help me close a business. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they we'll start one. No, yeah, they, they've been yeah future <laughs> advisory. Seriously, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, uh, what was what was I going to say on the well, yeah? So the weed thing, um. Yeah, it just feels like, uh, like to Ch Chelsea Handler or like there's all these people who it's like there's money to be made. This is definitely, a thing. and That's it's all it. it's all the personality thing too, right? Like, and it's it's such an LA. Like, think about weed. Think about what it is. Think it's like this fucking natural thing, and now it's like it's become sort of Los Angeles fied, where it's mm. it's um they're putting it in different products and oh, like all the so, cans of drink and the yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's all too colourful and shit like that. Yeah, but, but then I think what we're seeing this is going on with alcohol. Probably has been like mm -hmm. think about all the fruity flavors, yeah, little yeah. sippers, spritzes. Like, yeah. like, and hey, look at this, saintly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Death Gin is great. That, that Jason Robinson. Jason well. does have a, a, a gin um, business. Yeah, Death yeah, yeah. Gin. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. So when you close your business, yeah. Do you, you send your send bottle? <laughs> 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 to the death of you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It comes with, um, yeah. It, it comes with your logo. Yeah, yeah. On, underneath yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> death Gin. Yeah. BMC. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 24 Panadol and a Death Gin. <laughs> just fucking. <like Yeah>. <laughs> just a, you know, Friday night fun. Anyway, anyway. Um, I was what time is it? 10? I reckon yeah. we should start yeah, drinking. We'll yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was going to say, so, so it was about uh, Seth uh, Seth Rogen. 
Chelsea Handler, the so, yeah, yeah, there was all the weed stuff, but it had nothing to do with that. The the book coming out. Um, He's an accomplished uh, person in the industry. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that that's wasn't why I brought him up. Yeah, I can't. He's got his book. He's releasing his. Yeah, it's, 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 it's someone wrote it. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't. It I can't remember owned. what the um, what the point of that conversation was yeah but um and that's yeah the daily that, talk show yeah. hi at the daily talk show.com if you've got any thoughts any questions want yeah. any gear yeah you need anything uh-huh. we're here mm-hmm. are we yeah yeah we're here. yeah we're here for a bit all right Have see you guys. guys love you